Krista! Oh, you old bag. She's run off again. Krista! In a quiet corner of England, I found the former rabbi living a remarkable life based on the ancient patriarchy of the Old Testament. Come here, scallywag. Grab this poo picker, pick up. bring the barrow closer to the stable. All right, and just get all the poo out, basically. This rabbi had chosen seven women to be his wives and created a new godly family. Krista, don't go running off. Do people know about your family situation? We don't sort of advertise it, but we don't hide it either. And we're kind of a little bit careful because some people just sort of freak them out, you know. I mean, it freaked me out when it first started. Does it still freak you out? No, it doesn't now. Not at all. I think it's beautiful. I think if... It's not a shallow thing, that's why. If it was a shallow shag, you know, just having seven women I can shag at any time, you know, then then, well, that's just a cheap thing, isn't it? But this is about true biblical covenant. And it's actually very, very beautiful. It's hard to find people who still practice polygamy. And I'd never heard of Jews living like this, except in the stories of the Old Testament told to me in Hebrew classes as a child. Mark, just bring me the poo thing and just take these bits of poo out of here, please. If you don't handle them right, they do get a bit wild. Like that one. <laughs> get in! No! Oh, Goodbye. Shouldn't you be at home? It's Shabbat now. I should be at home. <laughs> the sun's gone down. I know. Day the heavens and the earth were completed, and on the seventh day God finished the work he had done. And he rested on the seventh day and he made it holy. Amen. Philip wasn't legally married to his wives. He believed their union was sanctioned by God. Mikadesh Shabbat. Amen. Sabbath meals were a regular feature of my childhood, but they were nothing quite like this. My dad only had one wife. Oh, I've had too much wine and it's uh, all too much. Yeah. Oh, I've got a bit dizzy. Oh. Oh. I may be back, I may not. <laughs> I could see that Philip wasn't interested in equality between the sexes, so I wanted to know why the women had rejected contemporary wisdom and chosen to live like this. Had they found in the Old Testament the way to live? <laughs> 